हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टॉक अबाउट बियरिंग टाइप एंड लुब्रिकेशन सिस्टम दिस इज द सेवंथ पार्ट ऑफ आवर टर्बोचार्जर सीरीज इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो आई हैव टॉक अबाउट द टर्बोचार्जर कंस्ट्रक्शन इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल कंसंट्रेट ऑन द लुब्रिकेशन सिस्टम ऑफ अ टर्बोचार्जर If you want to know about the turbo charger right from the beginning I will give it in my description box you can find it there so let's begin the today video of type of lubrication and bearing using a turbo charger so bearing it may be of white petal lined plain sleeve type or ball and roller type plain white bearing require an oil supply under natural pressure at all time as a rotor can turn due to natural draft or the rotor lock so basically i want to tell you that the lubrication system is divided in two part one is the independent lubrication system and second is the self lubrication system so basically in independent lubrication system is part of the main engine lube oil system in that what happened basically these are been employed in a sleep type bearing so first let us understand what is a sleep type bearing the sleep type bearing is basically installed in between the rotor means in between the exhaust and impeller side the sleep type bearing is centrally mounted on the rotor so if you see the design this design so if the bearing is mounted in between the impeller and the rotor here this bearing is providing the support to the rotor from the deformation and from rotor bending this type of bearing is called sleeve type bearing and basically these are provided at the center for lubrication purpose the bearing is mainly lubricated with the help of a oil coming out from a main engine a branch is coming from here and through a non newton ball is going and it is flowing onto the sleeve type bearing now a part of that is passed to a orifice through orifice to a header tank this header tank so basically what is happening in normal case the oil will come from here it will go and it will flow on here and after the remaining oil will drain and will go back to the main engine lubrication system so the sleeve type bearing form the part of a main engine lubrication system here one line is not shown is that a branch pipe will come and through a orifice it will go to the lubricant header tank and it will fill the header tank also now sometimes the question are asked okay suppose now when the main engine is running everything is going fine the bearing will be getting lubricated because from the pump now suppose there is a lubrication failure means the pump stop suddenly at that time will the oil will flow stop flowing to the lubrication to the slip type bearing one more time i want to tell you what i mean to say if the main engine lubrication system fail then what will happen to the slip type lubrication system so basically as you know the turbo charger is rotating at a rpm of around 14000 to 15000 in some cases but in mainly it rotate around 8 to 12000 so what i mean to say is very high rpm so if the lubrication is stop even for a 10 to 15 second it will have a devastating effect so in any cases 
whatever the scenario even if the lubrication system of main engine fail it should be provided with the oil all the time to make sure of that for that reason to make sure that the oil is been provided to the sleep type bearing the header tank is been installed one more time i want to tell you the header tank is installed to act as a backup when the main engine lubrication system fail now how how the header tank is compensating basically what is happening the header tank amount when the amount of oil in the header tank is been designed or is been capacitated in such a way that when there is a failure of a main engine lubrication system at that time the whole engine will slow down or shut down will occur so the rpm will drop means when it was running at full load suppose the rpm was 10000 now the lubrication failure occur at that time what will happen the rpm of the rotor will get down as the rpm will get down or slow down at that time the lubrication should continue so the header tank is been designed in such a way that the amount of oil required by a turbocharger to slow down from 10000 to minimum speed zero that amount of oil required is calculated as it is provided in a header tank that oil will come and will compensate and will continue to provide the lubrication as long as the, the turbocharger come to halt so if anybody now asks you why a header tank is provided in a slip type bearing i hope you know the answer now second type lubrication system is the self lubrication system in self lubrication system is a type of system in which it doesn't form a part of main engine lubrication system it doesn't depend in upon main engine lubrication system so basically how it is designed at the end at the end of the rotor both end ball bearing is been installed okay this ball bearing is been installed it will here it will give a clear picture here this is a shaft end this part this part and this part at both end at both compressor end and at the rotor end at both end the ball bearing is installed and to provide the lubrication to this ball bearing at the end a gear pump is installed and gear pump is taking suction from a lube oil sump which is provided here which is around suppose 40 to 50 liters and that oil is taking suction and through gear pump it is being pressurized and it is been thrown onto the bearing and it will taking the heat of the ball bearing and also providing the lubrication and getting flow down into the sump this part of the sump is cooled by water or by some other other arrangement the heat has been taken away now this type of lubrication is called self in self lubrication system why because it is not dependent upon the main engine lubrication system so oil is coming from here from the pump it is pressurized and it impinges on the ball bearing now one more i want to show you the ball bearing are double nature double ball bearing basically you can say roller bearing double row why it is provided basically on the compressor side this type of adhesive is provided so that it can take the axial thrust why as the a gas is coming from here and impinging the turbine discs on the axial thrust will be implemented as the gas is coming from here and impinging on the turbine discs in axial direction 
axial thrust will be getting induced to compensate that axial thrust the double row ball bearing is provided now as the ball bearing will continue to rotate to prevent the chattering and to prevent the damage is called a term is there bundling false bundling okay to prevent that this lip spring is provided here you can see this lip spring here both in radial and axial direction this lip spring is basically taking that amount of vibration which is been induced because while the rotation of the ball bearing to prevent the happening of the damage of ball bearing now one more thing i want to tell you this ball bearing have a life means after a certain running hour suppose 10000 12000 means what i mean to say after a prescribed running hour period that varies from engine type to type it need to be changed now the question is asked why why we need to change because it is subjected to a continuous cycle means it has a lifetime it has a time that after a period of time it will fail so prevent that failure it should be changed at a prescribed running time as same goes with i have told you in with the connecting rod of the auxiliary engine so because of cyclic stress which is induced in this ball bearing to prevent the failure it need to be changed at a prescribed running hour the leaf spring is provided to take the vibration both in axial and radial side why double ball is provided you know the answer to take the axial thrust and this sum is getting cooled by the water or by some means which is been provided by a turbine adjustment and the gear pump is taking the suction and impinging on the frame so if anybody say you ki what are the lubrication system so you should say there are two type one is a self lubrication and one is a independent lubrication system so let me read it out what i have written here the independent lubrication system incorporate a header tank which provide for a period of operation should the turbocharger lubrication pump fail okay second a double phase thrust bearing is required in order to keep the rotor located axially in position in the casing and take the axial thrust from the gas side due to pitch very clear ball bearing and rotor bearing also have to be changed at prescribed in trouble of service in order to reduce the risk of failure due to fatigue and bundling as i have told you they also require vibration damping spring to be fitted between the bearing and casing this vibration damping spring is basically the lift spring which i have told you okay self lubrication system is much simple than with the slip bearing internal sum whenever the rotor run it also accommodate the axial thrust so all thing i have explained here one more thing i want to tell you that some cases a separate pump is provided for the slip type lubrication means what happen the oil is been taking suction from the sump of the main engine and it is getting pump to the turbocharger individual pump and it is then fed to the lubricant supply line okay so this may also happen but basically it is part of a whole lubrication system okay so i hope i have given a clear idea about the lubrication system of a turbocharger if you have any doubt please do comment below i will revert back and please 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 do subscribe and please share my humble request to all of you please share in each and every marine group my only main aim is to make everybody to come this to the platform so that we can grow and learn together please this is a very humble request to all of you if you like the video hit the like button and share on whatever social platform you are going to share please share have a good day friend
take care